Hey, we're here on a Saturday. It's Saturday, Saturday. Sat is that, that doesn't hit the same. <laughs> it doesn't hit the same as Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So that's tomorrow's video. <laughs> Today, just a little quick, quick, quickie. Um, video for you. I had a really great midday today. I went to see trial sermons at my church and um, one of the people who uh, were going to be doing their trial sermon today, young lady I mentor in broadcasting and TV stuff a little bit, uh, Eunice, Sister Eunice Gillian. So, well, I guess Minister Eunice Gillian. I forget what, how, I don't know what level y'all are on in the process. But, uh, yeah, it was so good. I've seen tr many trial sermons. It was just really good to see so many. Usually there's several. There were so many. I didn't even see them all. I got there probably about mm, two people before Eunice. Or one person. Two people before Eunice, I think it was. And, yeah, it was so good. So I feel like I went to church about ten times <laughs> with ten many... 10 mini sermons, 10, ten sermon snippets, if you will, um, out there. So it was so good. What a nice program um, that they have to do the minister in training. And I think it's evangelist in training. And it's New York Theological Seminary, Dr. Bryant and uh, everybody else involved at New Birth and at the uh, seminary. So how amazing to be able to bring it right in house. I thought that was so good. So good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I needed that today. So that was so good. Pastor Ryan, thank you for being there like that for them. Everybody everybody doesn't do that for folks who are you know, getting started. So that was a good thing too. Great input, great feedback for all of us um, folks doing their sermons today from you know, pastors and everybody. So it was really good. Really good. Eunice, yay! So proud of you. So proud of you. You have a nice uh, delivery and style, and we can connect with that. Everybody was good. Everybody was good. So it was just good to, to uh, see everyone coming into the next phase as they get in through the different areas of uh, stages to get to ministry. So it was nice. Very nice. I saw one young lady in the hall um, on my way out. She was one... She was talking about, I, think her, I asked her name, I think it's Felicia. It was Felicia or Felicia? Felicia, I think. And, you know, they only have five minutes, so she can really get in. Nobody can really get into it fully, 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 but, you know, they all did a great job. So the story she was going to impart in with her sermon, um, it was me and the lady on my row. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that is my story. <laughs> story if she can get that thing um you know just filled out and fully pulled into space where where you wanted to be it could be that's gonna transform some lives she's about she brought this bag on she has all this baggage and we have baggage do you have baggage oh my gosh things we carry with us and i i got literally i got bags but, you know, spiritually we have bags. We have bags, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, we have bags. And so the thing she was about to get into, perhaps had she had more time and, and if she, when she worked that out, I said, ooh, you can transform some lives with the baggage thing. And then also I think she talked about dancing as a uh, liturgical dancer. And at the time she couldn't really even raise her arms out the whole way. She was really kind of closed and tight. Sometimes we feel like that, like, mm, can't really do more than this. I'm all out. This is a, this is a lot for me. <laughs> I feel that, right? And she said, someone in the dance ministry with her said, be free, put your arms all out, be free with it. And that hit us in that aisle that I was in. I'm like, oh my goodness. How many times are we like so tight? <laughs> with it. It's so very true. A lot of people, and I'm, I'm going to include myself on it. Either we carry this baggage with us, stuff we don't let go of, or not like, you know, ill feelings and stuff, but just still carrying stuff that 
you already moved on from it. Somehow you still carry it with you. Got to clear that out, right? And be free. <laughs> so I want to drop my bags at the curb at the airport. Let them handle all of that. And be free <laughs> and fly. <laughs> so um, Felicia, I think she said Felicia West. I'm not sure. But if y'all work with her and flesh that thing out into something, she could transform so many lives and so many people's story or stories that she, she shared. So that's beginning to share there. Um, and she got some great advice from pastors on, on the uh, feedback there. It was really good. So, yes, I'm just here for a minute today. I, I don't really want to talk about a lot. Um, because I got to save it for Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. But I do love y'all so much. God bless you. Hugs, pass. I miss giving the hugs and pats when I'm not here during the week. <laughs> That's when I'm, I'm on my 18-hour days there. I got two two 18-hour days a week. It's too much. I put that hamster wheel up on the, on the Twitter uh, earlier this week. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot stand it any longer. It's like a rat race from one job to the next job to do this, to do that. And sometimes it's what it takes. And then sometimes it's like, am I putting extra baggage on myself? You really have to do all those things? Or if you do have to do all those things, is there a, a better way to do them or a more efficient way to do them or a way to handle it better? Right? So me, I'm continuous improvement, continuous improvement. Just try to continually get better, right? And, you know. So some food for thought for me today uh, from a lot of the, the folks who were doing their ser trial sermons today. So it's like, you know, usually you have one sermon per service, but here we have all these different sermons. And like, oh, I gotta work on that. Oh, I gotta work on that. Oh, that's talking to me. Oh, that's talking to me. It was so good. It was so good. It was so, so good. Like, thank you, Lord. I needed that today. It was good, though. But how are you doing? That's what I want to know. How are you doing? Hopefully all is well. Are you pacing yourself too? I know we just got busy schedules, right? I gotta do this every day. I got you know a bunch of different things, a bunch of different places to go, be requirements, things I love, and you might love all of it too. But also we gotta remember that self care piece. How we flow not today. It's my self care community. How we flow not today. I want you guys to join with me. We're on IG at How We Flow period today how we flow dot today and um no i didn't revamp the website yet i tell you that this would be the third week i need a team by golly i need a team i just can't do it all myself i know what needs to be done but i don't have the time to do it and some things that maybe some things i don't even know how to do i don't have a website but there's things when you're building that you need a team for can't build the huge, gotta be big, super size, uh, flow empire without a team. By golly, you got to got a team. I'm gonna get a team here. So, anyway, I'm not gonna get into all that right now. But what I want to say is, it was a great day. So, Eunice, thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. It was really great. It was really um, just a great way to spend my Saturday. So, yeah. One of the best Saturdays I've had in a while. Usually I'm just recovering. Like, oh my gosh. I gotta sleep in. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long week. Monday comes. I'm like, is it Friday yet? It's not Friday yet. But it's, well, now it's Saturday. So we got when Sunday comes tomorrow. When Sunday comes. When Sunday comes. So, um, I don't even know how many speakers there were. Again, I wasn't there at the beginning. But, um... You just told me what time she was going to, she was scheduled to go on. So I made sure I got there before she went on and got to see her. Pastor Brian got, uh, needed a, a power bank, power brick. And I ha happened to have my halo bolt with me. So we sent this up to the front so he could charge up his uh, phone. And the young lady behind me, Wendy, um, she sent up her, her cord because I am not an Apple. I'm an, I'm not an iPhone. What do you call it? An iPhone? What do you call that thing? <laughs> I'm an Android. I'm an Android. I'm not an iPhone or whatever you call it. Whatever you call that wonderful device you all have. So I didn't have an iPhone cable, but I did have the brick of power. This is called the Halo Bolt. In fact, I'm charging it up again right now in my car. But what this is, the guy said, you carry this thing with you everywhere? I'm like, well, yeah, because it's kind of, it's, it's not heavy, but it's, it's small and mighty is what I would call it. 
and it's even cute this one's cute they have them in all kinds of colors and styles the company this is gonna be backwards the company is halo h-a-l-o and the name of the device is um the acdc bolt this is, a, this is an older one i've had this one for a while they've got newer ones i got my son one of them like this has the light so you can have a, a flashlight all right it's really a car device typically it's a car device um you can charge up your anything laptop whatever you have press this button green activates that that one there you know so you're you're, you're on the road and you're doing business and you need your laptop running or you might not be near a plug and the laptop laptop's getting low or whatever device you gotta make a presentation you do presentations everywhere and you carry your equipment get one of these this will last for hours and hours and hours i'll do it for hours and hours so um yeah this is the called the halo bolt all right so they have the plug-in then they also have the usb if you if you have i can plug in two usb devices turn this one when the green light's lit it's shining so bright but when the green light comes on or the blue light green light and once that comes on then you know that these two are active so two people can charge their thing and one person can charge this thing or if you all these are your devices you can charge all of them at once with one item oh and i need a flashlight at the same time it's nighttime i got to see what i'm reading and writing right this is something to have right it's just something to have in general because it's a great charging device right but what it's really for, you know, what it's really for is to jumpstart your car. Yes, this little tiny box will jumpstart a car. People don't carry jumper cables anymore. You know what I mean? Um, my day, well, my dad's day, they always had jumper cables. Everybody had a uh, set of jumper cables in case someone's battery went out in the parking lot or on the side of the road. So right here, I think you can see it. It has like a uh, person with them up there hood. So in here is a connector i don't have the cables here well I, you know i'm in my car i should have the jumper cables in the car but they are at the house because I was, I was taking some stuff out the car clean out the car do some stuff but they normally they would plug those the jumper cable thing in here on the one end and then on the other end is the two uh wires with the, the, the red and the black right so all you do you guys should all have one give one for all of your kids in addition to AAA, you got to give them this too. So let's say I need to give somebody a jump. They're going to be like, that little box ain't going to do nothing. So you start that thing and when it stops flashing, but I don't think I have enough power left because I need to charge it up. Since my, uh, it's almost low. It's almost so low. But that'll, that'll ring steady. Glow steady. Then you, know, you plug your things in. And you connect the cables to the thing. And that's it. They start the car and it starts. Simple as that. The Halo Bolt. Their website is, well, at the time it was besthalo.com, but it's Halo, like, you know, an angel, ding, with a halo. So go to Halo, look for Halo Bolt, and they have, um, this is an old one. This one's, I don't know how long, I've had this a long time. I see the date, it's on it. But, yeah, it's portable power jump starter. So the one I got for my son, even that was like over a year or more ago. So he has this, and he's got these. It's got the jump start. It's got the flashlight. And he even has something else on his. Um, there's another feature on his that goes even better and higher than this one. This one's been out for a while. And, you know, you never want to be stuck on the side of the road. Even though I have AAA, if I need to get going, I can still try to do it on my own. Or if you see someone stuck, you can help them, right? And otherwise, you just have great power brick for wherever you need to be. So it's called the Halo Bolt. Glad to be of service. Glad to be of service for you today, uh, Dr. Bryant. So, um, Wendy and I, Wendy's Cable, my box. But here's the thing, you know, we all need a jump sometimes, right? We need a boost. My battery was so low, so um, my, my phone's batteries ran, ran out because I knew... Um, I needed this. That's why I brought it because my phones were very low. So I plugged them in. They were in my bag plugged in. But then they needed the, the box, so I, I gave it the box. So now I'm going to charge my phone. Hopefully this one doesn't run out while, <laughs> while I'm talking. 
but we need a jump. We either need a jump or we need a power boost. We need a halo bolt. We need, we need something sometime. Who can you count on to give you a boost? Who can you count on to jumpstart you when you're running low? Your battery's running low. Your energy's running low. Your, your patience is running low. All the things that can run low in our lives. Look, who can you count on? You got to know who you can count on. We all need to be able to count on somebody. If we can't count on anybody, we can count on God, of course, and He'll provide space in the play. But, you know, sometimes my battery's running low. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need a jump start. And this one won't do it for me. All right? Plugging my phone in won't jump start me. I don't have a, uh, you know, there's no nose adapter or ear adapter or whatever, right? So, um,. I, I gotta get God to jumpstart me. So when I'm feeling like I cannot go on <laughs> any longer, and we all feel like that, like this just cannot keep happening or whatever, right? You know, you just lean in. Say, all right, Lord, you be my halo bolt today. I need, I need a, a, a three-prong plug type of boost. I need a USB charge type of boost. I just need you to shine the light a little bit. So let me know that this is going to be all right. Or do I need the full, I need the jumper cable jump start. God can do all the things that this thing does and more. So get one of these. But more importantly, get God in your life. Believe God is Lord and Savior of your life, anything you ask him in his name, he will do when two or three are gathered together in his name, there he shall be also. If he were in such a form as a halo bolt box in his name, his name be right on here. Jesus bolt, Jesus charge. I need to get charged up. So thank you, new birth. Thank you, trial sermon speakers, preachers. You charged me up today. That's what I needed, you know? So I feel so good. I'm like, thank God I need that. It's so good. So, yeah. So I'm already energized on a Saturday before Sunday even comes. So I'm excited about that. But listen, I need you guys to join my community of like-minded individuals who care about themselves and care about others. It's self-care. It's wellness. It is... Um, on my feet self-care wellness it's uh the art of well-being you can check out my um i have a great lineup of isogenics products that go along with the self-care and the wellness piece at howweflow.isagenix.com go check that out there's something up there in the, in the upper corner that says take our quiz or take the quiz and it'll kind of ask you some questions about, you know, how you're feeling, what's going on with you or whatever. And then we'll begin to recommend uh, some items or products or things that might be helpful for you in your journey to wellness and the art of well-being. So go to my website, howweflow.isagenix.com. Howweflow.isagenix.com. I-S-A-G-E-N-I-X.com. Um, yes, we'll talk more tomorrow. <laughs> I did run a couple of errands here that I'm going to hit home and uh get some dinner cooked and stuff but um yeah i just wanted to hop on real quick and say wow i am boosted i'm i'm halo bolted <laughs> and and my halo bolt was put in service today at the church so it's been a good day it's been a great day i hope you had a great day i hope you're gonna have a great evening i'll see you all tomorrow morning New birth, 1,000 women coming together at the altar to pray tomorrow morning at 8.30. So I got to get my shirt. Um, my she, I think it's She Prays is the name of the shirt. Um, before, and then get there to the altar. And then service starts at 9.30. I don't know if they're going to be live streaming the prayer part. I don't know if they are. I hope they do. Because even if there's 1,000 women, there's still 1,000 online. They can't see it that online ministry is so important you reach so many more people online 
than can ever fit in your sanctuary. So I hope that ministers, um, pastors, will consider the online space if you haven't done so already. Um, some people are needing you out there in the uh, in the world of the internet, <laughs> the internet space, the online space. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm energized. I got my jump start today at new birth with my, like my halo bolt would have done. I need a full jumper cables this week. Well, that's no, that's, that's the, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not the, uh, that's not jumper cables. That's a, what do you call that thing? Clear, you know, when they have to restart your heart. No, I didn't need that. My heart's already restarted. It's been broken so many times. It's better now. It's restarted. My heart's good. My heart's good. But my energy and my my enthusiasm, you know, when you have to work a billion hours, it starts to get a little tired. So I rested last night and yesterday, and then um, came to this today. My my mind, spirit, rejuvenated. Thank you all, everyone who did their uh, trial sermon today. I appreciate you. Really made a difference in a lot of people's lives today, and you're going to continue to make a difference in a lot of people's lives today. And yeah, help Miss Felicia uh, flesh out her the framework and everything for her stories that she's going to be wrapping in with the word. Because um, she'll connect people who are dealing with these issues with the word of God and how that can can get them through it or to it or to even face it or think about it. Um, yeah, she's going to transform some transform some lives with with those things so i already know that i believe god for that so but thank you all thank you all um thank you all everyone who was there today i thank all of you it was really amazing i feel so good oh my god all right so i'm gonna run a couple errands over here and then i gotta go home do some things because we gotta be up even earlier than ever <laughs> i struggle getting up early on my unwork days so because I get up, I always wake up at like, I think last night I woke up at, I, well, actually I woke up at 4 this morning. Just thing wide awake, you know, I usually get up like 4.30 on my work days, Monday through Friday. But um, anyway, I wake up, God wakes me up at like 1 or 2 in the morning anyway. And then I'm like, I gotta go back to sleep. But I wait until it's time for me to go back to sleep, and then I do, and then I get up again. But this morning, it was, it was a Saturday, and well, I'm trying to sleep in on a Saturday, but I was wide awake at 4 a.m. Okay, I guess I gotta get up and get ready to go do what must be done. What thus saith the Lord. That's what I'm um, trying to do. So that's what I'm doing. And remember, we flipped the switch, was it two weeks ago now? Two weeks ago? Almost three weeks ago. Where we flipped the switch to do go 1000% for what it is that God told you to do. So I'm doing that. Hopefully, you guys are doing. The same thing, the same thing, but really just take care of yourself, take care of each other, stay safe out here, some crazy stuff goes on, stay safe on the roads, been seeing some crazy crashes, you know, I'm a traffic lady, so I see all the, all the stuff on the camera, this is just too much, so stay safe, stay connected, and stay loving, okay, I got so much love for y'all, you know, but yeah. I don't really know anything else I want to say because it's not Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's like, go run your errands. I'm going to get off of here and let you all do what you're going to do today. Rest yourself for a great day tomorrow. Make sure you're tuned in for uh, Sunday service at New Birth. Again, I don't know if they'll stream the the prayer at 8.30 with a thousand women at the altar. I hope they, they will. And then at 9.30, it'll be our normal church service start time. Pastor Bryant preaching. And then, um, you know, it's going to be so good. Love you guys. I love you. God bless you. Hearts, loves, hugs, pets, all of that. Um, just keep going, right? What did I post today? I posted something. What did I post? I don't know if the phone has any charge on it yet since I learned my charger out. Yeah. To <laughs> I'm just playing with you. You know, I'm just playing with you. Um, yeah, my phone was out of charge. My other phone. Let's see. Yeah, I posted something on Twitter and IG. You can check it out. It's a, um, 
the faith hack for today. Faith hack for today. Hashtag faith hack. Let me see where it is. Hashtag faith hack. You know, because sometimes we're we're not in here and, and on our faith in the way that we would want to be. And sometimes we are. And then someone else that we're with or that we know of or we're around is not. And then we got to help them, right? So, and where does the where does the lack of faith come from? Sometimes it comes from self-doubt or um, feeling like you're not enough or not worthy or you know, all the negative tapes we play in our head, uh, things people have said about us, things that have happened to make us think things about ourselves that weren't true. Um, all of that um, can, you know, I, chip away, like I did that the other week, chip away, chip away at our faith, chip away at our self-esteem, chip away at the fullness of who God created us to be, right? So when that happens, because it happens, I mean, maybe you'll say, oh, I never feel whatever, good for you, but a good portion of people can commiserate with me on that one, like, yeah, sometimes I do get that feeling that, you know, I'm not worthy, or, oh, wait, oh, wait, I might have tickets, wait a minute, oh, I might not be going home, <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see, come on, my email is coming up so slow, uh, oh, I got tickets to the show tonight, yay, okay, I gotta leave y'all, <laughs> I'm going, you know how many love songs I post on Twitter? I'm going to see Stephanie Mills and Jeffrey Osborne. Whoop, whoop. I think this is some tickets are in my email. Yay. Who wants to go? Anybody want to go? <laughs> this concert starts in like, I don't know, about an hour and a half or two hours. I think it's, I don't know, it starts at six or seven. Why start at seven? Shucks. I want to get going. Um, but what I was saying, uh, yeah, I would have got that note earlier. If I didn't have my charger, because I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I promise you, I'm, I promise you, I'm just playing. Just, you could take a joke, I know you could take a joke, Pastor. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, I promise. I'm glad to, happy to help, what I always say, I'm, I'm always happy to help you. Always happy to help you. I'm here for help. I'm here to, to help you. God sent me here to help you, so. Um, so, our faith hack for today, hashtag faith hack, why is this not coming up? Don't talk about my cricket phone still on that. I think because I have it set for Wi-Fi, but there's no Wi-Fi out here. Um, where is that thing? Faith hack, okay. Where's the faith hack? Come on, faith hack. Yeah, so when we start to feel, I, I put it on Twitter, I'm on Twitter. Twitter should be faster. Um, when we start to feel a certain kind of way, about ourselves is something that we don't want to do. Don't, don't let that stuff chip away at you. To believe that you're not worthy or that you don't deserve God's best. And I, I say this in every video, anything that someone's ever done to you, victimized you with, anything that's happened to you, anything you've done to yourself, anything of any of that can never keep you from God's best for your life, unless you allow it to. And I don't want you to allow it to, you know what I mean? Um, and we all get like that sometimes, we allow. Allow things, and that's it, allow things. And, and if we allow these things, that means it's allowed or it's not allowed. That means you had to have permission. God gave you a, a blank permission slip follow him and do do what he said and get everything that he asked for you so you are still able to do it you have permission I have permission <laughs> from my, my permission slip is, is is signed by the Lord himself okay so the faith hack says don't let, let me see it says a special message for you you if you're seeing this, this is your message. You know it, right? Hashtag faith hack for today. Don't let fear and insecurity distance you from what God has for you. Don't let fear 
and insecurity because we all have fear and insecurity sometimes don't let that i'm gonna laugh with my eyeliner off don't let that distance you from what god has for you and then i say you are good enough you're good enough so don't feel like oh i'm not good enough what yeah i don't care you're good enough and then i say um make the connection and don't look back so if there's something ahead of you that you think you're, you're, you're fearful of or insecure about, God has it for you though, remember I'm good enough. Say it with me. I am good enough. I'm good enough. I'm good enough. We say good enough for government work. I'm good enough for that. So reach out, make that connection. All right. And then run on and see what the end's going to be. Don't look back. So it says, again, a special message for you faith hack for today don't let fear and insecurity distance you from what god has for you uniquely for you right i'm pointing right at you <laughs> don't let fear that's one thing insecurity it's a whole another thing distance separate you from what god has for you if it's for you it's just for you no one else can have it this is what God has for you is for you. I always believe what God has for me is for me. I want you to believe it. I believe it for me. I want you to believe it for yourself. Um, say, I'm good enough. I believe I'm good enough. Sometimes I didn't believe I was good enough. I was just insecurities, right? Fear and insecurity. So, I'm good enough. You're good enough. And say, I'm not going to. Let's personalize it. I'm not going to let. And I'm going to say, a special message for me let's say say with me say uh, say this say it. I'll say it then you say it. a special message for me point at yourself a special message for me hey, I got a special message guess what I got a special message special message for me today is the faith hack for today hashtag faith hack for today so we're hacking our way make sure we got our faith lined up you know no shortcuts to anything but you can you can faith faith it instantly say all right i flipped the switch i faith i believe i believe i'm in faith so our faith hack for today i we're gonna personalize it i will not let fear and insecurity are you saying it with me so say it with me i think you are <laughs> i can't hear you though can't hear you though i will not let fear and insecurity distance me or separate me from what God has for me. Let's, let's say it again. I will not let fear and insecurity distance me from what God has for me. Because what he has for you is just uniquely for you. It was already done before you ever got here. He already knew what he had for you. And then the next part says, I am good enough. I'm good enough. I'm good enough. I got some stories about not feeling good enough. I'll switch you one day. But I got to go to the concert soon, so I got to hurry up. Um, and then my, my next part of my message is that I want you to make the connection with whatever God has for you. And don't let the fear and insecurity distance you from it. So make the connection and then don't look back. Like, yo, I'm good. Forgetting those things which are behind me. I press towards the mark right forgetting those things which are behind me don't look back don't look back there's nothing back there except reminders of where what makes you feel fear or insecure or that you're not good enough that's for everybody right and the final declaration is the best is yet to come the best is yet to come do you believe the best is yet to come and again i always talk to you guys but but the key to the source of the gold dust. Come on, Thomas the Tank Engine. Who ever watched the Thomas movie with their kids? Or maybe you're, 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 you're young enough to have been a fan of Thomas and watched the Thomas movie <laughs> as a kid. Um, Thomas the Tank Engine, I'm talking about the train. But there was a gold dust thing in there. The source of the gold dust was how they were able to uh, move from place to place, etc. But anyway, I always use that as like, Eureka, this is it. So... The key to the source of the gold dust is to believe that the best is yet to come. 
Like you have to say it in your out of your mouth, hear yourself saying it, and then you have to believe what you're saying, right? Because if you don't believe what you're saying, if you don't believe what you're saying, it's not going to come to pass. God could have it for you. But if you don't believe you deserve it or you're worth it or that that really can happen, you're right. Okay. So it's a truncated message. I, I got to go because guess what? I'm going to see Stephanie Mills tonight and Jeffrey Oswald. Oh, I have so many love songs. To talk about. I just cleared 20 gigs off of my phone. So don't talk about my cricket phone. But uh, I better go home and charge up this payload bolt so I can have plenty of charge on my phone for the concert. Hey, what's up, Stockbridge Amphitheater? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm spinning. Stockbridge Amphitheater, sorry. I'm spraying you guys. Um, but that's it. Again, our faith hack for today. Don't let fear and insecurity distance you from what God has for you. Don't let it. And, and that means that, that you can either let it or not let it. Because who's, whose life is it? I'll say, whose life is this? Who's in charge of it? Okay. Don't let fear and insecurity distance you from what God has for you. I'm not going to let fear and insecurity distance me from what God has for me. And I'm moving in that, okay? So if you move in that with confidence and with faith, like, okay, I, this is for me. I'm just going to go for it, and that's what it is. So we flip that switch. You know, we're going 1,000% for what God has for us between now and uh, December 31st or January 1st, 2024. Boom, that's it. You're good enough. Make the connection. Make the connection. You don't have to worry about it. If, if God had it for you, it's not, there's nothing that's going to go wrong. <laughs> I mean, some things could go wrong. I can't say that. But it's not going to go wrong in the ways that you're thinking. Oh, this is too much for me to connect and talk, talk about with them. Oh, they're going to reject me because of this and that. Hmm, no. Make the connection and don't look back, forgetting what thing, those things which are behind. Press. Come on, let's press. Make the connection. You know? That's it. That's my message for today. Our faith hack. Hashtag faith hack. So I'll be I'll be sharing some faith hacks with you guys um, in these coming days. That was the first one. Faith hack number one. Where are you put that phone? Oh, here it is. Faith hack number one. Last time I'm gonna say it and we're gonna go. Because I don't want to miss one song. I need a date for the show. Who wants to be my date? Don't let fear and insecurity distance you from what God has for you. Well, I got two tickets. I got a ticket for somebody. <laughs> God has it for you. You're good enough and make the connection and don't look back. I'm going to the concert. The best is yet to come, you guys. I love you. Hearts, hugs, pats, rocks, you know, and love, peace, and soul. And, <laughs> you know, it's all good. I can't wait for what God is opening up for, for my life and my family's life, my kiddos' lives. You know, We walk by faith and not by sight. So again, faith hack for today. You can check it out at ATL Traffic Lady on Twitter and at ATL Traffic Lady on Instagram. And, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe. I don't have anything to subscribe to on Insta. But, um, yeah, so check that out at ATL Traffic Lady. You can see it and personalize it. You know, it's a generic version, but I want you to personalize it for yourself that I won't let fear and insecurity keep me from the things God has for me. Right? I won't allow it. And I am worthy of it. I deserve it. I deserve it. Tell yourself that I deserve it. Um, I gotta go. I don't want to be late for the show. I just step over people. I don't even know what the tickets are, what tickets they are. But thank you. Yay. So thanks, Chandra. Thanks, Maria. Got tickets for my show. So you know this week, oh my gosh, I'm going to have so many Stephanie Mills, Jeffrey Osborne, LTD songs going on. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, if you don't stop <laughs> playing those doggone love songs again. <sighs> anyway. Look, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, again real soon. And thanks so much for watching this far. If you watched this far, say, I did it. I watched it. I'm, I stuck with you, Steph. <laughs>
and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday for what's new in the flow. Um, yeah, I gotta go. I'm on super hungry. I gotta run a couple errands over here and then I gotta get tickets for the concert. Yes, thank you, God. You know, it might not come when you want it, but it's always on time. God's always on time. The tickets came right on time. I was just like, I was just thinking about that before I came on this video. I'm like, well, I want to be there, but I don't feel like going. Yeah, anybody feel, feel like that? I want to be there, but I don't feel like going. Like, the process of getting there to go there. I want to, like, you know, um, instantly uh, beam into the seat. <laughs> and then beam straight back to the house afterwards. No traffic, no anything else required that's required to prepare. I want to instantly beam in there. So, a lot of times I want to be somewhere, but I don't feel like going. The process of going. I want to go there, but I don't want to go through the process. But we haven't in invented beaming me up, Scotty. So, oh well. What are you going to do? Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have. I love you so much. I care about you. I want to see you get your best life, okay? I want to see God's best for your life happening. I want to see all of the wonderful things that are yet to come. The best is yet to come. I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. I want you to know that you're worth it. I want you to know that you have so much that you are offering to everyone. And I don't know if you understand how much people appreciate you. But they do. I appreciate you. So many people appreciate you. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. And, um, you know, stay that hail method that I teach my students about. Honesty, authenticity, integrity, and love. If you're operating through all of those with God, the sky is not even the limit. There's no limit. Take the limits off. So, keep being who you are. Honest, authentic right have integrity and, and and love for people and you know everyone wants to be inspired everyone wants is looking for you know something that they can connect with keep being that person they can connect with the stories you have the things you've overcome persevered through the things you've dealt with they are going to be life changing for so many people if you'll just let them out so let them out. That whole baggage and, and the I, I'm not free enough, feeling free enough to really spread my arms or raise my arms out, right? Those are the things I had to work through for myself, right? I say, God, help me with this because I can't do it on my own. But I do have to work through it. So I'm not in the slump anymore. I told y'all, you know, God said, all right, Stephanie, you've been in the slump. That's enough slump. So I'm out of the slump. If you're slumpy a little bit, slumpy a lot, slumping, every so often which happens but you don't have to stay there even though it feels like you can't get out you can all right i love you so much take care of yourselves and each other and what does it say make the connection oh why don't you <laughs> too many layers too many layers sometimes you can't make connections There's so many layers people places things too many layers Ugh. Sometimes you just need to make the one-on-one -on -one connection. Everything will be answered just like that. Everything they got screwed up, mixed up, set aside, never shared, uh, messages blocked, whatever, all of that. The people do with people. When you finally make a connection with whoever you wanted to uh, hear from or speak with or whatever, all the middle stuff fleshes itself out. You don't have to deal with it, okay? So make the connection. And the best is yet to come. I love y'all. I'll see you. Mama, mama. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow at church if you're going to be at church. And if not, I'll see you tomorrow after church when I do what's happening in the flow. My Sunday video. My Sunday car video. I don't think I'm going to be doing every Saturday car videos because, you know, I was already out. But if, I, if I'm on my normal recovery mode on Saturday, I'm not going to be doing a video. But I might. You never know. We'll see. Anyway, love you guys, and uh, God loves you more, but I care about you, all right? Keep going, I'm telling you. I'm here to encourage you. That's my job. You guys keep going. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. 
keep believing in yourself and, and believe in God and what he has set up for you. If he created you, he knows exactly what he planned for you, the purposes of your whole entire life. And how he wants the whole thing to go. I took plenty of detours, personal detours of my own. <laughs> Not on the will of God. But now, you know, I realize, I realized some time ago, but <clears throat> I realized that, yeah, that was best. <laughs> it's that looking back, yeah, you know, when your kids tell you later, yeah, mom, dad, yeah, you were right about that. I see what you mean now, right? We can't, as God's children, always understand it in the beginning or why it was. Eventually, it gets revealed exactly why it had to go like it had to go. And I'm okay with that. However things had to go for me here with this thing, I'm okay with it. It's all part of the process, right? Gets everyone in the right, you know, frame of mind and, and space in there to, to manage whatever there is about the situation. So, you know, I'm good with that. So be good with that. You know, don't beat yourself up over anything. Oh, I should have did this. Wish I would have done that. Said this. Whatever. It's all right. Talk about it. But don't let that keep you from what's for you, right? Say, yeah, I messed up. Well, I, I did. I, I was thinking this, and it was really this. And hey, it happens. And people understand. So, all right. That's it. That's all. Time to break. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. The best is yet to come. You are worthy. You deserve it. You're amazing. Whether you realize it or not. So don't let the self-limiting beliefs and the tapes we play over in our heads stop you. It's time to fly. Take off. All right. All right. Going up to new atmospheres. Jason Upton. Y'all check that out on YouTube. Jason Upton Fly is the name of the song. Going up to new atmospheres, right? Gonna ha gotta have new ears for that. Gotta have new ears to go to new atmospheres. God is giving you the air. He's giving you the air. Aerial view of everything. Now fly, right? Jason Upton. Jason Upton. U-P-T-O-N. Check out Jason Upton YouTube and the song is called Fly. I'm going up to new atmospheres. I want you to fly with me. Love you. Love you. Love you. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And then the next thing you know, it'll be Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And I'll see you then. And I'll tell you all about the concert tonight. If I don't hurt and get myself out of here, I won't get there. But I'll see you. I'm going to be singing. I might not have a voice tomorrow. I'll be singing, never knew love like this before. Or um, concentrate on you. Jeffrey Osborne. You know, right? All I want to do is concentrate on you. Um, uh, I learned to respect. I don't want each other. The power of love. I'm such a terrible singer, but I don't care. Uh, I'll be singing high and mighty out there today, along with everyone else in the audience. So there'll be a lot of off-key singers, but I won't have a mic, so it's just not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Right? Stephanie Mills, see you tonight. Jeffrey Osborne, see you tonight. I think it's Michael Collier, uh, comedy first. And then uh, the singing shall begin. <laughs> anyway, I probably got two tickets. Let me go check. Uh, anyone want to go? Hit me up real quick at a DM. Love ya. Take care. I'll see you soon.